Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at one of the most fun and interactive ways for doing exploratory data analysis in your data analysis project. As you are aware that exploratory data analysis is one of the key phases in, in any machine learning project, whether you are building a linear regression model or a logistic regression model or any other model. If you want to take a look at how to build linear regression model in Microsoft Excel, I have made a ton of videos on my channel. You can have a look at those. But today, we're going to see how to use Power BI to do your exploratory data analysis in a, in a very fun way. We're going to be building this kind of a dashboard, an interactive dashboard, and study the different kind of variables and explore your data. So let's get right into it. Before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analysis across different technologies. So let's get right into it. So I'm, I'm going to click on get data and get your data. So you can click on get data and then select the text CSV file because I've stored my data in a CSV file. This will bring up the Power Query window and you can then edit your data in Power Query. I like doing exploratory data analysis in Excel because it also gives you a data cleaning framework that is Power Query, which is, a, which is a very useful tool. Okay, you can see this window. Now click on transform data because you want to do some transformations before you actually use your data for exploratory data analysis. And you can do a lot of data cleaning in this Power Query as well. Okay, this is my Power Query ed editor. And here we can examine the data. We can see all the different columns as a date, the flavor, the sales, revenue, temperature. So I'm just going to do a minor modification because most of, them, of my data looks complete. If you want to do any data cleaning, you can do that. If any missing values or any other data is there, you can uh, do the cleaning here as well. So you can see everything looks green here. So that means all the data is complete. If there are any missing values, you can do different operations here as well. I'm going to click on date since I want to do time intelligence as well. So I'm going to click on add column and say, let's say, name of day and then again I'll go to again do it one more time click on date and I'll say month this time so let's click here and say name of month okay let's take a look at that let's rename this just to day and month And now we can load this up, click on file and click on close and apply. Okay, now you can, now let's take a look at this data mode. So you can expand this and you can see all the fields have loaded. So now let us do some quick summary statistics. For that, I like to use the card. I'll click on the card new. Okay, and now we, let us see some summary statistics. So I'm going to add the sales in the data, it shows sum of sales. I'm going to see the revenue, I'll see the total revenue. And I'm going to add two more, let's see the average. So I'll see the average sales and change this to average. And let us see the average revenue as well. Change this to average again. Okay, now you can see the card is ready. You can drag this, but you can see it has put one option below so i want it all in the same row so i can go on the format and then here let's change the format on the layout and just show make, make this four so now you can see you can clearly see this okay let us drag this here and make this small on a nice thing you can see your statistics your uh, total sales your total revenue your average sales per day and your average you know revenue per day so now let us try to do some more data analysis. Say I want to understand the distribution of the revenue. So I want to build a histogram to understand the distribution of the revenue. So let us look at that. I take the visuals again. I select, let's click out and select the column chart. Okay, let's arrange this here. Okay, now I'll select in the x-axis or in the y-axis. I'll put the revenue. And on the x-axis, I'm going to create a new bin. Okay, I'll create, create a new group, can create different bins and then we can use a histogram. So I'm going to say the size, I'm going to change it to, to, the, to the number of bins, I'll say 10 and you can see it has already automatically calculated that each bin size is around eight, 87. Okay, 
and I'm going to click OK. Okay, now let us change the sum of revenue first to count because we are counting and then we'll put the revenue bins in the x axis. So, here you can see a nice histogram. So, you can see that uh, the total number of, of uh, there are around 6 items having you know like revenue in, in the range from say around uh, 900 to uh, uh, from around 875 to around uh, 900 in the 500 mark we can see there are around 4 then we can see around in the lower mark that uh, in, in the in the 100 range there are only 2 so you can see this is your you know distribution you can understand the revenue of your data using a distribution. You can also see if there is any correlation between the variables. So, let us see if there is any correlation between the sales and the temperature. So, with that I am going to click out, I am going to add a scatter plot. I am going to select the, uh, the sales and put it in the x axis and the temperature and I will let, let us uh, temperature in the y axis. Okay, let us remove, do not summarize here. Let us click this and do not summarize because we want to compare every data point. And here you can see it is showing you the kind of relationship. So, you can see there is no clear correlation or there is a weak correlation. If you can draw a line, it can, there is some linear correlation, but it is very weak. You see, for the days where there are high temperatures, still the sales are low, and the days where there are high temperatures, the sales are also high. So, there is, if you, you can draw a line, but the, but the correlation seems to be very weak. Well, let us try to analyze more. Let us try to see what is the distribution of the sales per you know flavor category. So let's add a column chart again, and let us take the flavor in the x-axis, and let us take the revenue in the y-axis. And you can see uh, the chocolate flavor is bringing in the most revenue. But now let us also see what is the um, the revenue depending on the day of the week. Okay. So, let us do a line chart, we can see the revenue trend, let us take a line chart and let us see the day on the x axis and let us see the revenue on the y axis. So, you can clearly see there is a trend on on Saturday, the it is quite high and the other days it's, it comes low, on Sunday also it goes low and as we go on, it keeps on going lower and lower, but Saturday you can see clearly the sales are very high and other days it is less low and on Wednesday it is particularly low. So, you can analyze the data on the, uh, from that point of view also. Then what other analysis we can do? We can try to find out what are the sales per flavor, Okay, that is another interesting uh, you know kind of exploited data analysis we can do. So, let us see the flavor in the x axis and let us see the sales. Okay, So, we can see now mint is ha having the, uh, the most amount of sales even though the revenue of mint is the third and and, and chocolate is having uh, you know more revenue even though the sales of chocolate is is the fourth year you can see so you know this is gives you some interesting insight to your data if probably you could increase the sales for chocolate your revenue will go up you know much more okay so uh, it gives you a great insight into your data at last you can also check your your distribution of your you know flavor so you can see which is your most uh, the most you know flavor that you have of a particular ice cream let us take a pie chart for this and let us take the flavor and add it into the legend as well as the values. And you can see mint, you have most of mint ice cream followed by the other, you know, um, the other ice cream such as, uh, you know, strawberry, cookie dough and, you know, you know chocolate, right. And, and mint is still not bringing in the most revenues, having the most sales because it is the most popular category. And now the most beautiful thing you can do this, you can, you can do something called as interaction, which I like this, the most important feature, I can study each and every category on its own. If I click on mint here, all my data will get refreshed. And you can see I can study all this data. So, I can see if there is a correlation for mint and what are the revenue. Uh, again, for mint it shows Sunday is the most popular day and also then I can see uh, the distribution for mint. You can see mint has has revenue uh, as high revenue deals, you know, very low as compared to low revenue deals. Let us check for, you know, for strawberry and strawberry you can see high revenue deals are more and again. Thursday is the most important peak day where the sales are high and then it, uh, it decreases and you can see you know also the popularity of you know strawberry when it comes from revenue generation. So, this is the way you can analyze and you can also analyze your summary statistics for each and every category and all these uh, you know graphs are interactive. So, I want to click say an element here and I want to see high revenue sales, uh, sorry low revenue sales and I want to see high revenue sales 
and you can see the distribution record. So, this becomes very, very interactive. You can see uh, across your categories and across your different distributions the interactions of, of one variable with the other variable. So, this is a very, very good way if you want to uh, remove all the filters, just, just click it twice and you can see you can see your old uh, your data summarized again. I hope you like this technique of doing exploited data analysis with Power BI. If you want to me to make more videos on the same, do let me know. Do take a look at all the data science videos in Excel and other topics on my channel. If you like this video, leave a comment and do subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Thank you.